वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक माई डियर टैरो पैल्स टू अनादर पिक अ कार्ड रीडिंग टूडे वी गुड बी लुकिंग एट ऑक्टोबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू द मंथली फोकास्ट वॉट कैन वी एक्सपेक्ट वॉट्स गोइन टू हैपन वी गुन लुक एट योर इमोशनल स्पेक्ट्रम वी गुन लुक एट द सेल्फ केयर दैट यू नीड टू बी टेकिंग केयर ऑफ वी गुन यूज द एंजल गाइडेंस कार्ड्स टू गेट यू एडिशनल गाइडेंस अपार्ट फ्रॉम द थ्री डेक्स दैट यू सी हियर ऑफ कॉस ऑफ टैरो टू मेक योर पायल सिलेक्शन फॉर Welcome if you've just found me through an algorithm search and this is the first video that you come across I post typically definitely one sometimes three uh videos in a week the next video out would be a detailed yes or no with timelines around what you're asking that's just a preview or an update for everybody who's been waiting for that reading to show up there's an extensive playlist here called timeless readings which literally means that whenever you find it there is a guidance for you there i have put up a lot of readings around 2022 which i strongly suggest you do not miss out what is the rest of the year bringing you month by month detailed forecast i've also given you twist and turns which are going to happen before 2023 and recently posted another video where we've covered the highlights of your personal and professional life uh of 2023 do watch these readings if this is the second video that you've come across i hope you decide to become a tarot pal and click on that subscribe button makes a lot of difference to me and an important update there is no other way to book a reading apart from sending me an email at the email address mentioned below in the description box please don't fall for scammers uh, this is the only account i have i'm also on instagram where you can of course find more consistent and daily content uh, if you like tarot and oracle readings that's another place you can find me With all of that said, we're going to jump into what is October bringing tarot pals. I have three crystal options. Let me first quickly give you a close up of that. So for pile one, we have the rose quartz, and that's your rose quartz cluster. Okay, we have for pile two citrine, and give me a minute. Let me focus this. Yep, that is your option two. citrine for pile number 3 we have azurite mixed with malachite and that is option number 3 okay i've picked three select you know three tarot decks for us to look into uh october i'm going to give you a peek a boo into the artwork that each holds this is i think called the animal spirit deck or the animal deck by doreen virtue let me see what is the first card here to give you guys wow five of winter so if you're drawn to the card the artwork the tarot deck the back or the front or the crystal that's how you can make a selection of course these are general readings take what resonates leave the rest just give me a second let me set this okay this is the light seer tarot and we have here the two of cups Okay, that's option two, the light seer's tarot, and for option three, that is the everyday witch. We have three of pentacles. You can pause the video if you need more time. This, of course, is going to be, like I said, a general reading. You can feel drawn to more than one pile. Go with what your intuition says, and I will see you in your individual readings. Hello and welcome my beautiful pile ones those of you who picked this beautiful rose quartz it's such a cold stone by the way one way to test if the crystal is real or not is that real crystals no matter where you um or how hot your climate is will always feel colder in your palm okay um the one message that i'm clearly channeling for this pile is that this pile needs to spend whoops if you see by the way random camera shakes and if you hear one second weird sounds and i have three cats in this room sorry can't help it so my next on excuse, excuse me on that okay <laughs> all right uh, back to this uh, in the month of october this pile needs to spend some time um 
literally just journaling how the year has been for you make a gratitude list and ask yourself what has worked out beautifully well in the year 2022 i think that is something to do with how the year 2023 will open up for you and what would be the flavor of the month october is a wonderful time um, for any of you who are trying to release something and get into a new aspect of your life it is the libra scorpio spectrum a wonderful month for by the way happy birthday dear libras and scorpio um, a wonderful month to understand yourself in context and in relative to what your relationships are like in a wonderful month to go deep into shadow work a wonderful month to connect to your ancestors of, of course no matter which part of the world you're in i'm pretty sure you have at least one festival uh in this year to uh, in this month to celebrate um i feel this this pile really needs to spend some time in the energy of gratitude and listing things literally putting pen to paper listing out things that make you feel great about the year 2022 okay on that note i'm going to start pulling tarot cards to look at what does the year 2020 sorry i don't know why i said 2022 brings what does the month october bring for pile number one spirit thank you what is october bringing for pile number one october for pile number one thank you what do we need to know what's happening for pile number one I feel like I want to go with at least six cards for you guys. So I'm just going to go with that number. Okay, let's see. The underlying energy of these six cards is the five of summer. It's funny, right? We even saw the five of winter, uh, which is the five of swords. And five of summer is five of cups. Something to do with the number five, which of course indicates change. Uh, it indicates movement and action. Uh, is a theme play here the dragonfly is a very uh, spiritual um, spirit animal i would suggest you guys go and read up on it um some of you may have an important aquarius in your life or someone like an aquarius energy showing up in the month of october pile number one so, okay wow we start this reading with the number six don't know why i'm drawn between the five and the six you guys could be seeing five 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 six 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 lovers did do Rep represent i don't know why i can't speak god mercury retrograde okay lovers do represent the energy of gemini i felt the energy of aquarius already it is the month of libra so clearly some of you are air signs who are watching this or you have significant air sign energy coming towards you the butterfly is really drawing my eye and i like that the fact that it's green in color which is the color of heart chakra that opening of heart that opening of receptivity and listening to other people before making a choice or a decision is indicated for pile number one remember lovers is not just the love life which of course we will get into in a bit but it's also always talking about um I'm going to put this at the center. Okay, let's see how we place this. Okay, it also talks about choices and decisions coming your way. Okay, we have the nine of spring, which is the nine of wands. Wow, a lot of messages channeling here already and I've not even seen all the cards to get you all the messages. Okay, we're fighting for something and somewhere this pile needs to open up and listen to others a little bit. Okay, uh, it feels like as if you're banging your head against... Uh, something that you really really want to go right and it will october will get you the right results but you need to open yourself to hearing other people's perspective and how they want to run this uh, and be mindful of that energy mercury does go direct in the first week itself but the shadow of course stays till the 10th um, at the same time 10th is a full moon in the zodiac sign of aries and check in your birth chart where aries is because clearly there's a fighter spirit here which is bringing you um, a lot of anxiety in the month of september but you're walking away and you're moving towards the calmer waters which is exactly what the six of winter the six of swords talks about we have this pile that energy of traveling and some of you could be meeting someone significant while you travel communication is very very strong for this pile we have eight of spring which is the eight of wands there's a progression here from the eight to the nine the busy bee okay bees always bring that first word of busy bee okay and i want to go look this one hold on let's pull these together and see what we have 
oops sorry shook the camera this time it wasn't the cats it was me <laughs> wow look at that progression we have the 10 of spring okay it's literally like 8 9 10 so now i want to place them in the same order because that's how i feel like it look at that aha uh -huh. i think i have one message for sure already but let me just set this for you guys before i start talking one second okay I hope this is not shaking one second okay feels like the camera is much more stable now it's not like I don't prep before I start the video but it's just how it is it will always okay wow that's the third five that we are seeing a uh, pile number ones five five fives okay I, I can feel that energy that you've been desperate for change desperate for movement this pile has been fighting arguing October clearly started for you with the energy with a, of a lot of anxiety conflict um, things not going right at work, things are not, not being understood at home, people fighting you or being petty with you. That's the energy you enter August with. There is a strong fire sign energy here now. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius uh, are significantly present. Remember, I'm saying fire sign energy, which means whenever as a tarot reader, you list, or a ta whenever you're listening to tarot readings, please don't get so literal that it means the sun sign of a of leo sagittarius or aries it means the qualities the energy that these signs represent of course they may literally mean that you have somebody like that in your life and he's playing out for this energy but it's more about the qualities that these three signs talk about which is action which is taking leadership which is uh, charging head on which is uh, being fire-headed or fiesty that is the energy that October brings for you, okay? Uh, for some of these piles, I'm just going to bring the colors which are really pop popping up for me. We have the red, which is the root chakra. We have the heart chakra with the pinks and the greens there. We have that blue here with the throat chakra, which brings me to say, speak your truth pile once. But remember, there's truth is also a matter of perspective, right? Which means... Uh, just because you see it one way and your way could be correct, that does not mean that that is the only way to approach something. I want you to have that openness in the month of October. It will tremendously help you navigate through the energies of October. Professionally, I do suggest that you take it one step at a time. Some of you are feeling supremely confident that you've got it, you've done it, you know it, you know, and it's a good feeling. It's a great thing. You should keep it. But don't get overconfident or complacent that people start seeing you in that energy of that this person is not listening and they just want to do it their way. Walk away from the smaller things. Wow, they've really become extremely active. I'm sorry. Something happens when I start shooting, my cats become hyperactive. I don't know. If you have a cat, tell me why that happens. I'm very new to being a cat parent. I've had dogs for years. I don't know why they get so happy and excited and they're jumping around and they're pushing things. Anyway, digressing and coming back to pile ones. October professionally moving back. Take it one step at a time. Even if you're feeling supremely confident about a project and you feel like I can take up 16 things and I can do this and I can do that. Uh, slow down. Hear other people. Brainstorm. Make notes. Somewhere I see, I can literally see a vision here of somebody sitting in a meeting but not making notes and then later feeling like a little fuzzy about what the conversation was and then that, that leading to a lot of anxiety, a lot of confusion, a lot of drama. So if you're sitting in an important meeting, um, if you are in that atmosphere, if you're sitting in an important class, even if you're a student, make sure that you're making written notes or you're listening and you're very much present, okay? If you are somebody who has ADHD or if you are somebody who suffers from um, any kind of a mental disorder or, uh, sorry, I don't mean to say that word, uh, any kind of a mental, okay, I'm trying to channel this energy slightly. Um, the word I'm hearing is jittery, if that makes sense. If you easily get jittery when things go uh, even slightly off, the way the plan was um, October is a month which will help you understand that you've come a long way and even though a lot of things will not go the way you want them to you will still make peace with it you'll still have fun with it you will still enjoy how uh, how the month unfolds okay also note here that there is an energy of again coming back to traveling so if any of you have been planning a trip this is a wonderful month to book those tickets 
Somewhere, this pile is being called to introspect in the month of October, and this will play out in different ways for each of you, where you did not give yourself enough time to process emotional conflicts. Resentment can be built when you're not addressing something, but at the back of your mind, it does play a role when you're when you're speaking to someone or when you're making a decision or when you're acting out on something, uh, it feels as if you have a very narrow view of something. And when you can hear the other person out, some of you may actually feel very sorry that you you didn't see it in the way that they saw it. Okay. If let's say you've had a, uh, if you think ill about a friend or let's say you feel like your boss does not like you or it feels as if like as if there's a conflict which makes you feel a certain amount of resentment or left out feeling but then when you hear the other person's story you might feel more sorry for them and you might feel like wow we literally have that car of hangman and tower inside this okay uh, you will have a change of perspective you will see this relationship from a very different angle okay be careful of burnout pile number ones of course uh, i've already addressed that with take it one step at a time slow down but don't quit on something that you've been working on you have the card of resilience and the ten of wands which talks about if you're tired rest don't quit okay quitting is not clearly the option here uh being busy is a great thing. Being numb is not. Don't use productivity uh, to make yourself numb on something that... Wow. And distraction. I'm super distracted today. And maybe that's an energy that you also get into. Something with Gemini is often struggle with, okay? Moving to your relationships or your family or your love life, okay? In the sector of family, again, locking horns with the relatives is highly likely. So avoid it as much as you can. You're clearly getting into a lot of social events in the month of uh, October. And somebody may bring up something that happened decades ago. And it triggers you to that extent that you say some things that you can just never go back from. And I don't think that's an energy you would like. Uh, typically, I never say move away from conflict. But it's like as if you will say things which and then later you will feel like I really went a little too harsh on this person. I didn't mean it to become so aggressive. So you might as well just be just not get into a conversation which you know may not give you a conclusion. That's what I'm trying to get into. Okay. Romantically speaking, if you're single, this of course talks about attracting somebody who is very competitive, who is very uh, a pro at their game, who thinks they know how to do things, who thinks they understand the world and they will have a very strong view of how they want to approach life and the wow this pile and this reading is really got a lot of chaotic energy grounding is clearly indicated you have a lot of reds here which brings me back to the root chakra energy okay moving back romantically if you're single you're attracting somebody who's high-headed opinionated snobbish um I don't know why that's the energy, but I'm that, but that's the kind of personality you're bringing through. But they love to win, okay? If you're in a relationship, your partner may be embodying that energy. When you don't understand, why is everything turning into an argument? Why is everything become me versus you rather than us conversation? Somewhere it comes from their energy of, of course, perhaps they also have a lot on their plate uh, professionally. At the same time, it also perhaps comes from a place of, again, remember, resentments and under the rug conversations it's funny that they say libras are indecisive and they are the peacemakers you can only make peace when you have a conversation about something right uh, you can only balance when you have imbalance and this is a wonderful energy for those of you who are in relationships to bring that uncomfortable conversation out but bring it gently Okay, don't go charging, accusing, you do this, you do that, tell me what's wrong with you, why are you always like this? That's not the tone. Um, the tone has to be of listening, the tone has to be of I want to make this work, the tone has to be I want to figure out what's going on and I think we can get over this, just tell me what you're feeling. Okay, uh, those of you who have children, uh, it can become really chaotic because they may have a trip coming up, they may have an important event at school uh, and somewhere it is going to demand a lot of your time and energy in the month of October so again scheduling sticking to the plan is super important for pile number ones to make it a great month for you guys uh, clearly love is blossoming through all of this by the time you come to the end of the month okay I strongly suggest you guys to watch that reading which I've done uh, which talks about my
month on month 2022 the rest of the year reading you'll find that somewhere in the description box below because i think there's an additional message for you guys there for october which will link up to this and you'll understand why you're going through this kind of a chaotic conflict driven draining energy yet you feel very it's as if this pile itself can't sleep because there's so much happening and there's so much going on and some things are really great and you really want things to work out um hence going back to that message grounding is super super important for this pile okay uh, a few of you have been awaiting a loan or a paperwork clearance uh november would be the time you hear something great so don't get too frustrated if nothing's really moving in the month of um october for you guys okay i'm going to move towards our oracle card reading and see what emotional spectrum first of all are you guys going to be in then we'll look at our angel card guidance and see what comes up okay what is the emotion good and bad i love this deck for that because it will give us that spectrum um that pile once would be in what are you feeling throughout october what is pile one feeling okay we have reliable and variable love this see there are a lot of things that others would rely on you on but then the plans would not go all the time as you want it so just because somebody is relying on you just because you get to have a say in uh, a conversation just because you get to have uh, a seat at the table don't start thinking that it always has to be word by word by how you would like it to be enjoy it live it experience how it would be from other people's way you're clearly feeling very motivated like i said you're feeling fiercely okay 16th could be an important date 7th of october could be an important date 3 plus 9 adds up to 12 which is the 12th of october it could also be the 3rd of uh, october which are some of these relevant dates for you guys we also have insert inert okay again depending upon how much are you balancing your root chakra how here and now you feel this is the emotional spectrum you will move between while you feel highly motivated and charged to solve things to get things done uh, but if you allow the arguments to distract you then you of course feel demotivated and feel like the things are not working out beautiful and like i said you'll emerge really well again we have that number 5 added up uh, do let me know in the comment section below if you're seeing excessively 555s cause wow wow that's my cat okay if you see a lot of 555s that is what perhaps uh, is again being confirmed here something may also end for you guys in terms of uh, a goal that you've had uh, something that you've really wanted to do and you may suddenly realize you know what i really don't think that's my cup of tea i really don't think this will work out for me and you you guys just it just becomes like a power off okay and somewhere that may lead to a certain amount of displeasure look at the one of greens here again okay uh, heart chakra healing guys root and heart are your two places to focus on in the month of october okay uh be careful of feeling pressured to get things done in perfect ways okay somebody it feels like as if you can do a lot if you can just let go of a little bit of a perfectionism and your way or my way or the highway kind of attitude okay be a team player in october be a wonderful team player okay uh let us now move towards your angel card guidance let's see if pile twos have a much more relaxed energy from my cats and if you guys have felt drawn to other piles that would be really interesting because i don't know why i suddenly feel like it's your spirit guides i mean yes we always have cats in the room but i've never seen them so crazy and psyched up okay so yeah that is a lot of running around happening and perhaps that's your energy as well you're running around through the month of october let's look at angel card guidance we will wrap this up of course with a self care message for you guys some self care cards how can you take care of yourself as the month moves on i almost felt a card flipped but maybe it didn't let's see okay angels what is the guidance for pile number 1 okay listen to your intuitive feelings love this exercise okay exercise pile number 1s you think uh it's about food you trying to control everything i don't know why this is a funny message and it's perhaps very specific sometimes i hear people quit on a lot of things they love to eat 
but they don't understand that even if you quit everything that you love eating and if you have a lifestyle which is very sitting on the desk you'll still perhaps not feel too great about your body right and hence i want to talk about that fact that you still got to exercise don't try to punish yourself by quitting on things you love to eat but not exercising so work out i don't know why that this message really needs to come across strong for pile number 1s work out and you will feel way way better you channel this excessive fire energy in you um, rather than snapping at other people fairies and this brings me to the energy with connection earth and also the root chakra if in the month of october you could perhaps do something for mother nature helping mother nature and then make a wish literally just do something for mother nature and make a wish and then surrender it to the divine and the fairies are listening the fairies are listening to you pile ones if you've reached this part of this reading i want you to really claim and tap into the energy and type in the comment section below that the fairies are with you so literally say i am speaking i'm connected to the fairies write it in your own words make it an affirmation and leave me that comment so i know which pile did you pick this okay something clearly is going to change drastically before the 2023 year starts for you guys okay it almost feels like you're being prepped for a big thing to come your way almost come january singing and dancing we did talk about events we did talk about expressing yourself do speak your truth do share your opinions just know when to back away when the other person is not in the mood to receive it emotional maturity is clearly rising for this pile in the month of october let us look at your self care cards now and see how can you take care of yourself hold on let me make space so let's move this a little up and that's it how can you take care of yourself how can you stick to these guidelines and get the best out connect with crystals the number 11th 11th of october and the number 2 could be relevant you may literally be drawn to certain crystals if you are somebody who has never made a crystal grid i strongly recommend you to google it and make one in the month of october uh, the new moon is today when i record it so if you watch it a day or two after when the you know the shooting <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying the video goes up uh, you would you may want to set up the grid now but you can also do this any time of the year you don't really have to wait for a new moon for that flow like water we talked about this uh allow things to happen listen to other people collaborate be a great team player uh brings me back to that number 6 if you can see there's a lot of even numbers in your reading we'll give you one more card hydration levels being around water these are some of the other self care ways you can take care of yourself in the month of october and it will help you ground wow love it when spirit confirms something that i've been saying pretty much throughout this reading grounding walking on the grass barefoot root chakra meditation uh literally some of you need to scream out clean the clutter is your underlying message by the way clean a lot in the month of october um uh, i hope you found some guidance i'm sorry if the disturbings and the camera shaking annoyed you a part and parcel of how spirit speaks to us is how i like to see it if you've enjoyed this reading if you found inspiration again i'd like to remind you don't miss the timeless playlist reading section hit subscribe have a wonderful october take care bye bye hello and welcome pile number 2s those of you who's gone with the light seer's deck and the beautiful citrine crystal okay the first message of clearly channel for you guys is that this pile is very focused and rightly so on money and finances and financial management and how to grow your wealth and somewhere in the month of october you will have a eureka moment be careful though of get rich schemes okay the other message i'm clearly channeling for pile number 2s is uh there's an energy here of excessive uh strictness or being harsh on yourself or trying to get everything done together at the same time it's almost like you're in a race you're feeling very you have this energy that as if oh my god it's october the year ended i had to do this i had to do that and i didn't finish this i didn't achieve this it's only like as if you're counting what didn't happen but you're not counting what happened okay and while of course yay game on for uh holding yourself at high standards and demanding more out of yourself but if that pushes you to that extent that you feel more demotivated and you feel at a loss and you feel overwhelmed then what good does it does right okay we're going to start off with your um 
tarot cards, which is the Light Seers deck, of course, like I said. We're going to look at uh, what is October bringing for you. Then we'll move towards the emotions that you would be feeling or experiencing um, through the Oracle cards. We'll also take Angel card guidance and wrap this up with a self-care card reading. If you have skipped the introduction, by the way, um, I strongly recommend you to watch 2023 twist and turns a reading which i've recently done for the rest of the year before 2023 shows up what are the twists and the turns you can expect i think you guys will get a lot of relief from that i don't know why i channel the word literally relief okay we have your first card out three of cups okay i'll give you a close-up of all the cards just give me a minute wow you are your cards are really jumping out October. We have seven of pentacles. See, we talked about this. You have a lack of patience pile number two. You want a lot of it and you want a lot of it together and then it overwhelms you and then you end up doing pretty much nothing. Uh, be careful of that energy in the month of October, okay? We have the wheel of fortune. Voila. Money, money. Okay. For you guys, I want to go with eight cards. Okay, wow. I'm loving this. This time, Spirit wants to give me a different card number for every pile. So, for pile one, we did six cards in tarot. For you guys, I feel like I want to go with eight. So, we will go with eight. Okay. We have five of cups. Let me give you a close up. Five of cups. We have three of wands. We have two threes here already. We have the Queen of Wands talking about confidence, generosity, intuition. Oh my God, I love this Queen of Wands. Some of you need to, very specific remedy, but it will work beauties for you. Go to a Krishna temple and donate a flute. Okay, give a flute to a Krishna temple in October. A wish fulfillment will happen for you. A karmic debt will be paid off. There's a lot of fire energy here building up. We have the Two of Wands. And we'll take one more card for you guys. If you guys hear background sounds, please excuse it. I have cats here and they get always super excited when we shoot a video. Okay, we have your last card out. Your underlying energy is again five of wands. Something to do with October and action. Yeah, pile one, pile two. Both of you guys have a lot of action energy here. Have a lot of uh, energy here that talks about... Um, Making movement, making forward. Look at that beauty. You have the Empress to end your reading. Okay. I want to start with the Three of Cups here. Community, females, celebration, coming together, letting your hair down, having a good time. That's what's October bringing you. Getting pretty, literally with the Three of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and this. Let your hair down, do a makeover, uh, feel good in your body, uh, look great, feel great, go out, drink, dance, uh, do something that makes you feel alive and great and build that strong community. Being a part of a community is strongly indicated for pile number twos in the month of October. Okay, Confidence will clearly rise the more you feel good in your body. If any of you have been trying, planning to get a makeover, you want to get your hair done, you want to get your nails done, Please, please don't delay this. It will create a tremendous difference. If you're a man and you're watching this, apply it as it fits, right? You want to get a haircut, you want to grow your beard, you want to cut your beard, you want to try something new. Um, it will help you move emotionally. If you have come from pile ones or if you liked pile one as well, I cannot ignore the coincidence that both of you do have in different positions. Uh, they had the five of cups as the underlying energy. You have the five of cups here and the five of wands, which was a part of their deck, a uh, part of their spread here. Okay, so five, five is again an important number. It feels like as if two is a progression of one energetically. Some of you are not aware of how many people have their eyes on you. Okay, it's as if like, and in the sense of romantically speaking, uh, you have a lot of suitors. You have people who want to be with you. You have people who would like to take your take you out on a date. But somewhere there's an energy of melancholy set in pile number twos, okay? And I feel like you should sit with this. You should sit with this, be patient with yourself, and in fact, let this year get over. Ace of Wheels often talks about one annual year. Uh, some of you, if you've broken up with somebody a year ago, I want to, I feel very strongly drawn to say, if you've broken up somebody with specifically October 2021, that person may come back into your life, okay? And this time with more clarity and more intention. Okay. Uh, 
for others of you if you've been absolutely single book a travel for yourself in october both of these talks about achieving your vision but that's not going to happen when you're sitting at home it happens when you go travel literally go for a road trip if you possibly can pile two it will clear your head like no man's business even if it's not romantic this is for everybody if you can just book your just sit in the car and just drive off if you can't go on a road trip drive more if you have a car ride a bicycle but ride something this is about riding a vehicle basically that's what i'm trying to say did i just say ride something <laughs> that just sounds oh my god he is he wrong okay but you get the message you get the message okay some of you are asking to be chosen for a project or in a relationship and you would be uh, it may show up into your life by next august though okay um uh, patience is clearly being demanded out of this pile patience in the sense of feeling like things will happen and it will work out your way you don't have to try so hard you don't have to push so hard instead like the empress focus on the creation joy of creation you know she doesn't know um everything when she's pregnant or when she's creating or when she's going through that notion but she knows that her ships are coming in she has belief in the universe she knows that she has a vision any of you who are in planning a launch of a i don't know why i wanted to say a product okay specifically a product october is a wonderful month for you go for it go for it and don't listen to the naysayers in your life don't think about what can go wrong just literally enjoy the process of creation any of you who are artists here october will bring you a tremendously life changing opportunity do not allow fear or lack of resources to hold you back and say no let's say you are a singer and you really wanted to always work with somebody but right now your guitar is not working whatever it is i'm just giving you a random example okay Don't say no to something because you feel like I don't have all the resources. I don't know if it this will be ready on time. If that will work out on time, you're you're going to get an opportunity that people are competing for. Say yes to it. Things will work out for you. Okay. Um, if someone is try is trying for uh, building something which they feel like the world won't understand. I know it sounds a little scattered, but. You know sometimes we have these ideas and then we just say like you know what I don't think people will get it I don't think it's going to make a lot of sense to a large audience and I don't know if it will make sense to even bring this into creation you're perhaps right but you you're being asked to not drop drop the idea completely rather uh think about how you can you know mull over it uh research more about it because there's it's almost like as if you're a brink of a good idea it just need a little bit of a tweaking and you're ready for it okay that's why patience is something i repeatedly want to bring to your notice for the month of october any of you who are trying for a income increase i don't want to say that this is just more salary or more sales it feels just income increase which is how it will feel for most of you guys make a vision board go back to your board make a listed plan discuss your plan with your trusted ones and then have the belief and have the patience to let this thing grow don't try to do something overnight it will not work out investments be very very careful that you're not oversharing as to where you want to put your money how you want to put your money how it's going to go um if you're investing in a fund if you're investing in a property if you're investing in something please keep it to yourself let the thing actually nurture and come into its play before you express it but if it's a creative idea if it's a business idea please brainstorm with your known ones and i think you'll gain tremendously network 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 pile number 2s i literally can't stop talking suddenly for you guys it's almost like i have a surge of energy for pile ones i felt very scattered i'm a clear sentient for those of you who don't know so i really take note of how i'm feeling in my body how my heart is feeling and suddenly i'm very excited in this reading okay i'm feeling like there's this energy of i want to go out i want to meet people some of you need to make a linkedin profile some of you have a linkedin profile but you're not utilizing it so all these social platforms where you can perhaps network and meet like minded people don't shy away take the stage any opportunity pile number 2s you get to take the freaking stage in october 
just literally go for it okay uh, if you've invested in something in last october uh, it will bring you some good news this year okay something to do with last october and this october for you guys there's a year or a completion empress does denote the energy of libra and we are in the libra season um, some of you may have a significant libra or leo or uh, queen of wands is leo energy very strong leo energy uh, empress is the libra energy uh, ace of wheel uh, sorry sorry ace of wheel sorry the wheel of fortune um, often talks about a turn of events orchestrated here somehow for you guys through these people and again when i'm saying leo or libra please don't think about the sun sign that's not typically what it anyway shows up as it's the energy okay it's the energy that we're talking about of these people uh, how they show up in your world will have a tremendous impact on somewhere your confidence okay because the, the queen of wands also talks about confidence give me a minute i need a sip of my water Some of you may actually gain a lot of interest in organic farming, by the way, in the month of October. You may want to research, you want to go like, I don't think it's more like a business plan, more just a lifestyle change or something you want to experiment with. You want to grow uh, plants and you want to grow herbs at your own home garden and work around it, okay? Romantically speaking, this, this pile clearly has a lot of eyes uh, set on them. You are attracting a lot of eyeballs. But it feels like as if you're waiting for someone specific and I would suggest that you stick with that, okay? Because there's clearly something coming for you in the later months, perhaps three months from the time you watch this reading, um, that something better would show up. Hence, you're drawn towards patients, you're drawn towards females, you're drawn towards communities, you're drawn towards uh, building yourself and focusing on your creation instead of getting distracted by... Um, the eyeballs. Enjoy the attention. Love the attention. We talked about looking pretty, feeling great, looking handsome, um, getting the compliments. But don't let that make you feel like, okay, let me just get serious or get settled into something. Okay, If you are in a relationship, especially if you're married, of course, and if you're trying for a child, uh, October can bring you that good news. If you're not married, uh, you can, of course, get a proposal that you've been long waiting for. Um, and it will be a grand event, okay? The proposal will be a grand event, okay? Like you'll be like, oh my God, so many people looking at us. You'll have your friends and family there. There's literally like clapping and champagne and cheers. That's what I see. Uh, I think I've covered professionally. I think I've covered personally. I'm just trying to cover out anything that we've missed out. Don't allow... Sometimes I tell people to sit alone and listen to yourself. This is a month I will tell pile number twos. Don't just spend too much time listening to your own brain because it feels like as if the only place you can go wrong is if you allow self-doubt to creep in, if you allow uh, the past and what didn't go right and how many times you failed. Don't get into that narrative. So this is a month I would say just go out. Go all out and be around people. Even if you're an introvert and you're just scared listening to this and go like, what is this girl saying? I don't like people. I don't draw energy from people. You never know. This month may actually surprise you a little introverts. And you may actually enjoy the company of you. I'm not saying go out and party with like 1700 people. But go somewhere where you feel that energy exchange. Okay, Energy exchange is very important for this file in the month of October. Okay, Let's look at your emotional spectrum pile number two i don't know if you guys noticed it i suddenly noticed it when i stopped talking i really was at a high energy for you guys okay and i feel like october will feel a lot of high energy month for you this it's going to just fly by this is a month for you which will be like oh my god it started and it ended we have frustrated and we have encouraged love this see it all depends on the company you're keeping we talked about this 4th of October or the number 4, again, stability, building something. Some of you could be life path foes, by the way, because it talks about the builders of the community. Okay, we have joyful and sad. I think this pile, I'd really resonate with the joyful energy more. I don't think you'll have many sparks of sadness in October. It almost feels like you won't have enough time. Okay, 4 and 8 are two numbers here. 17th is another date that feels like significant. Okay, I'm going to give you guys one more card. How hydrated you feel will actually also determine your emotional spectrum. So this is just a reminder. Uh, if you had a new year goal that you want to drink a lot of water and you want to get better at your 
water drinking ideas this is a time to remind you that hey october is still here this is still 2022 you may want to focus on that and it will create a tremendous difference in your emotional spectrum okay we feel blessed love this gratitude and desecrated okay it almost feels like for very few of you this is a very specific message of course um 14th and number 5 again showing up for me here something that you feel is a part of your identity in the sense of i've always been shy i've always liked the color brown you know those always kind of sentences that we make about ourselves some of you will be breaking away from something that is an quote unquote always scenario for you guys okay others of you uh, if that message doesn't resonate at all there's going to be an incident in the month of october for very few of you even paranormal i had a, i'd done a reading recently and i don't know why this energy just came back to me again uh reading on instagram by the way I'm, i am on instagram follow me there wow 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 that's my cat phew and by the way her name is bidin whose tail you're seeing on the camera show up that's bidin and she just went on a havoc so i'm not going to change that because wow i just want to say paranormal activity and look at that Look at that what just happened spirit okay cool we'll talk about this we'll talk about this okay i've done a reading on instagram when one of the piles got a message something to do with i think it was air signs and it was the elemental zodiac i can't remember i mean i do one reading every day there um and that energy was very spooky to me yet very calming to me in the sense that you know sometimes you go through you you have a uh, experience which does not feel very comfortable in that moment but is a life changing experience for some of you pile twos you will experience that and it will shift a certain perspective that you've had towards how you feel about certain people in your life for the good okay like you'd feel more connected you'd feel more you'd learn to respect what you have after that event for very few of you it could be a very paranormal event okay maybe you see your grandmother or your grandfather who's no longer a part of this realm or you um something to do with spirits something to do with paranormal a part of my heart literally feels very airy if that's the word i want to say okay i'm not going to sit with this energy much because it's not my message it's your message so if that resonated take it if it didn't don't worry about it okay let's move towards angel guidance and see what comes up for you guys what do the angels want you to know in the month of october pile number 2s what do the angels want you to know okay some of you have been planning for a tarot reading and you have been delaying it if that is true october is a good month for you okay i'm not saying with me just otherwise you've been thinking of getting a tarot reading and you've not done it uh, releasing okay let's see what this is about solar plexus okay i was looking at that yellow and thinking about confidence and i think it was your pile that i just said that don't say no to an opportunity because you feel like you don't know if you have all the resources the resources will come in the month of october a spiritual practice i strongly re recommend for you guys is affirmations okay uh, if you could do the mirror work look into the mirror every morning and just say some kind words to yourself um say some nice something nice about yourself to yourself okay and own your power Working with citrine, which is by the way another crystal which does tremendously well for solar plexus, is wonderful. Shield and uh, shield yourself and release when they come. Look at that. We talked about mirrors. Clean the mirrors of your home, pile twos. Somewhere that's attracting a lot of negative energy for you. Uh, shielding yourself from all the negative chatter. That I, you see, I think I, I I tapped into that energy and we're just getting that affirmation. Don't sit alone thinking all the negative thoughts what can go wrong how this cannot be me it almost feels like you get into psychic attacks when you sit there mulling over the past or something about how you feel like things may fail for you okay so clean the mirrors and of course do cleansing activities like burning sage uh, grounding yourself uh, I love the evil eye uh, emoji for most of my things you will see that that's another thing I always recommend for new age uh, spirituality if you were to call that crown chakra you're very very connected like I said you will have an experience in the month of October some of you especially around the full moon maybe the 10th of October uh, which will 
feel like as if it's a small thing but it won't be and in your dreams or through this connection you will find a very strong message we do have two chakra cards here if you've been planning a reiki healing if you've been planning a a tarot reading for yourself please go for it i feel like this pile needs to connect to the metaphysical or the paranormal side of life okay we will wrap this up of course with a uh, self care messages for you how can you take care of yourself in the month of october i really feel that high vibe for you guys pile 2 so clearly october is a wonderful wonderful month for everybody who's picked pile 2 a lot of big things coming in small packages is happening for you guys okay let us look at how can you take care of yourself how can you okay we have the first card which is create art again back to creativity this pile is my creative leave me a paint emoji if you've reached this part of the section literally leave me a paint emoji and paint your reality pile number 2s you don't have to do this for business you don't have to do this for instagram you don't have to do this because you're good at it just paint pick up a paint brush and paint pile number 2s health check up Okay if you've not done this this entire 2022 some of you haven't and this literally tells me like you you just it's not like you're unwell or something for most of you I don't feel that's the energy but it's just a routine thing that everybody should have a habit of and you're not doing it we have two eights here some intention that you have set up in the month of august during the 88 portal i had made a reading by the way of 88 um you may see some manifestations around it okay let's see how else can you take care of yourself but do go visit a doctor a proper doctor and get yourself checked just a regular health check up we have intuition and listening to your intuition i see i'm telling you there is something to do with your third eye there's something to do with how connected you feel to the source and the divine and it you're going to open a channel you're going to open a portal for yourself a very special message may come through that portal wow we have built strength as the underlying energy some of you may actually choose to go to the gym one and two's had a similar message here somewhere they seem to be connected so i just wanted to remind you if you did like one you may want to listen to one as well you may have a message there loved doing this as always i hope you leave me the paint emoji to tell me you picked pile number 2 um builds a community tells other people that you're going through the same thing that they are um i think it's a great thing to see who all picked your own pile i love doing this Take care of yourself. Have a wonderful October. It's my favorite month, of course. Take care. Bye bye. Hello and welcome, my special pile trees. Now, why am I calling you special? Number one, you're special because this deck had a very special incident this month. Uh, my cats actually got to it. There are three cats in the room, by the way. So, disclaimer: if you hear shaking of cameras, if you hear random sounds, excuse it. Please don't mind it. I love the energy of animals around me. Okay. On that note, she literally did it again. That's Bidhan at the feet. taking the camera okay uh, and in this deck there is only one card that they spoiled which is the hermit card of course if it comes out if it comes out um, so if you've picked this pile uh, you may actually be drawn to the energy of animals you may be drawn literally to cats you've actually put the cat pick the cat pile and a cat spirit may be trying to connect to you okay that's the first reason this pile is super special i didn't say that in the intro because i didn't want people to influence that of course and The crystal that you've picked is a super special crystal to me. By the way, the tarot pals of Instagram who like to know which pile I went with, of course I went with this pile because I definitely felt drawn to this. This deck will have a message for me. I've not done a reading uh, since that incident happened about two days ago, uh, but yeah, this crystal is another special thing. It's one of my first crystals. Could be literally the first one I got, if I'm not mistaken. Got this from another tarot reader at a flea market, and this is called uh, Malachite and Azurite. I got it in the year 2017. I don't know why I feel like I'm drawn to say that as if this year, that year has a significance for this pile or this group of pile. Um, Malachite Azurite is a wonderful stone for anybody who has strong Scorpio placements. It's a wonderful stone for psychic abilities, crown chakra, getting to the truth. It's also called the Merchant Stone, which means if you are a small business, this is one crystal I strongly recommend you guys to work with. Okay, if you want to create a small business again, this is something I want you guys to work with. Didn't know then that I'm going to be doing this. She did tell me I would, um, because even though I've done tarot for my smaller community. For years and years, I never had that clarity that I'm going to actually make a channel out of it and do it. I love how this crystal is. I cannot stop talking and looking at it. So I'm just going to move out from malachite and talk to you guys. This is a very powerful crystal, though, guys. So let me tell you. When I say it makes you see the truth, <laughs> don't get this stone if you're not ready to see the truth, because it will not allow liars, manipulation, self-manipulation to happen. Okay. Um, 
all right let's look at october what is it that is happening for pile number 3s in the month of october what is it that we can expect and we will of course take the emotions that you're feeling with the new oracle cards that i'm obsessed with we'll look at self care we'll take some angel guidance if you haven't yet seen the timeless readings playlist again a reminder you're missing out on a lot you're missing out on one of my best works yet uh, so go watch it and let's see i think i want to give this one more shuffle so i'm not ready not taking any cards just give me a minute okay pile number 3 is what is happening in the month of october for pile number 3s what is happening in the month of october what can we expect okay let me see if i feel so pile 1 i gave 6 cards pile 2 i gave 8 cards i'm just going pretty drawn with what spirit wants to tell me so i'm not surprised we have the hermit card there we'll see how it rolls okay we have chariot the energy of cancer the number 7 and chariot often talks about movement some of you may literally be traveling this is not funny guys i'm not saying this because it's my reading i have 10 days business travel in the month of october and i draw the first card out for my pile as chariot in front of you guys when we shuffled on camera that's how it happens okay we have five of pentacles every pile this month has got five okay five of pentacles we have page of swords okay give me a second let's make this in a line okay we have the ace of cups beautiful energy okay we of course have the hermit the energy of virgo there we have the lovers the energy of gemini there we have hardly five cards out and we have three major arcanas here oh my god okay i want to take at least two more cards and then we'll see how it goes what can we expect in the month of october for pile number 3 what can we expect in the month of october for pile number 3 what can we expect in the month of october for okay we have the page of wands which has turned we have look at the amount of major arcanas for you guys strength which is leo so we have virgo cancer leo gemini energies remember we're talking energies i feel like i want to get one more card for you guys we've literally gone in a progress okay so first pile had six second pile had eight and the third pile is now going to get nine cards okay something to do with progression as well we'll see we'll see okay what do we need to know the final message for october what's happening in october okay 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 too many cards too many cards i do see the 10 of pentacles we'll keep that these haven't flipped so we won't take it and we we'll let spirit decide and keep the queen of swords okay wow i hope i can make space for this now Okay, a big significant month. If you have your birthday like me in the month of October, happy birthday. Look at that beauty. We have your underlying energy of Queen of Pentacles. The first thing I want to tell you guys is October is about people, guys. Okay? October is of course a month which connects to the energy of Libra, which is about relationships, which is about partnerships, any kind of partnerships. Please note, that's not just romantic partnerships. Any kind of partnerships. And look at the number of page, uh, sorry, the court cards that you have. You have the page of swords, which is all about inspiration, motivation, energy, um, going out, traveling, following your instincts, uh, leaving the lizard brain, which tries to keep us held back, and literally following your passion. um and you will find some like minded inspiration page of wands for me is often also a card of inspiration then you have the page of swords which is the card of again ideas a lot of ideas and then that sudden clarity of which one you want to go with but please remember i'm glad that you have the page of ideas i'm sorry page of ideas page of swords and the king of swords both here we'll come to that in a minute with two pages here you will have a lot of things growing uh, a lot of ideas growing a lot of inspiration within you you don't want to miss out on any of this by not 
meditating on them, not listing it out, not ensuring that you have a notebook uh, that you pen your ideas in because there's clearly a lot of power that you're tapped into in the month of October. How well you utilize it, of course, will vary people to people, how focused you are, how serious you take your own inspirations and your own ideas to be. Some of you have literally been asking for an inspiring person in your life, uh, somebody who's more knowledgeable, somebody who's an expert in something and you are attracting a king of swords towards you. We have the energy of Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords, what they have together as a common ground is that they're very grounded. They're very practical. They're very reasonable people. Uh, you're being asked to be reasonable. You're also attracting reasonable people in your life. Uh, October, if you need experts, support, you will have it. Whether it's on a project, whether it's on a academic um, situation, whether it's uh, on a professional or an investment guideline, you will have guidance, especially from air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you will have guidance here. We do have two strong air signs cards here. Lovers does indicate um, air energy. Here, it also brings me to decision making and I like that it's come right under the five of pentacles. If you're confused, in making a financial decision, if you're struggling to make a financial decision, uh, please consult an expert, the King of Swords or the Queen of Pentacles, and you will find your right answer. You will see movement happening for you. Alternatively, if some of you are struggling to make a choice, a decision in between two pages, two ideas, two concepts, two people, two potential lovers, again, listen to your heart. Ace of Cups is all about creativity, creation, listening to yourself and go inwards. The answer is already within you. There's a wise owl sitting inside you who already knows the answer. You don't have to feel overwhelmed to make the decision here and now. If you feel like you want to share it with somebody, ask people for guidance, please do. If you feel like, no, I need more time. I want to think this through. Go ahead and do that. But you do have answers coming your way. This pile has been desperate for answers and inspiration. And if that's you, uh, it is coming your way, pile number threes, okay? With the Ace of Cups and the Lovers, I also feel like, needless to mention, new love, a new person, a new relationship, a new idea, a new creation birthing from you is highly likely. If you are traveling, you may meet some people who will inspire you to do something more than and be something more than what you've always been. Some of you may literally travel to a forest. If you get an opportunity to go to a forest, the amounts of greens I see here, there's a strong earth sign energy here as well, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This pile in the month of October is also setting the first stone, the first emotional feeling. See what they always say manifestations is about the feeling that you're at and then the feeling will manifest itself right uh, here, I literally don't have the king of swords sorry the king of pentacles but I feel his energy here this is a very grounded inward energy that moves towards legacy some of you may be feeling very connected to ancestors few may be visiting your place of ancestors or making a booking or traveling with your family or inheriting something that you've been hoping to come your way money is growing for this pile but so are expenses remember five of pentacles is also financial struggles which are manageable but people don't because they feel like they make it a bigger deal than it actually needs to be you need to control your impulse is you need to hold and tame your inner lion and know where to unleash it listen intuition is that cat the lion is everything that holds her power okay for exactly like pile twos it feels as if some of you had set an intention in the month of august during the 8 8 portal and it will start to bear fruits now okay uh, with chariot showing up in your reading, the first thing I definitely want to tell you, decisions, decisions, decisions will be demanded out of you. We have the energy of seven and eight here. If you notice that some of you may be seeing seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, seven, 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 some of these angel numbers. If you do, do leave me a comment below. That's just claiming your reading and affirming it for you. You've been struggling to make a decision choice this way or that way. Wow. That's the camera shake from my cat. Sorry. One minute. Let's set it again. Okay, hold on. Some of you have been, you're going to get an opportunity in the month of October to make a decision. Choice between two lovers, choice between where you want to live, choice between this or that. And while you're not rushed to do it here and now, we have that hermit energy here. We have that strength energy here that says, make your boundaries, take your time, 
but you do get an opportunity to choose and may having the chance to choose talks about privilege i don't know why i want to tell you guys this but talk, talks about privilege if you've been hoping or you've been in a twin flame relationship or a relationship when you know trying to attract a union nothing says union like these two coming together which talks about one person traveling to another one person coming to a middle ground or both of you coming to a middle ground and building something stable this file is going to start asking the serious question to itself in the month of october where is my legacy how do i want to grow what do i leave behind when all of this is done october will make you ask these big questions again i want to bring back family is playing a very important role for pile number 3s in the month of october you're going to be very focused on what kind of family you want what value systems you want to bring to the table um be mindful of somebody getting too nosy or too noisy both of the words i'm using nosy and noisy uh, about your money okay about your wealth a lot of people will look at you and think this came easy they don't understand that this everything that you're creating everything that you're doing comes from a lot of hard work comes from years and years of patience uh, and struggles and being your own person and don't let them dim your light okay you got to believe in yourself if literally picked the malachite stone which i said at the very beginning is the crystal of money and abundance but it brings with it the sense of truth owning your truth believing in your truth being grounded and confident in your truth the king of swords is never triggered because he knows he has wisdom he has knowledge he refers to the books he literally look at him he's pointing at the book his knowledge is his sword and a little birdie may come and give you some gossip pile number 3s in the month of october you may get to hear a lot of gossip some perhaps about you perhaps about other people you may get access to a very how do i say it um, you know a knowledge that can put you in a position of power somebody may tell you some things you may get to know something that gives you an access to a certain amount of power okay because page of swords is spying king of swords is knowing it all okay something to also do with sounds and bikes this is the first time i've heard a bike sound and it seems like a super bike sound in between a reading and it's like going jet fast if some oh okay wow i just noticed this one has a bike too you want to go on a road trip or you want to buy a bike very specific message something to do with bikes okay something about october and spookiness right i mean i don't know maybe that's the halloween in energy i think pile 2s had it pile 3s have it again there's something airy in october that may also happen by the way malachite is a very very psychic stone okay it opens you to opportunities of even connecting to the higher source and it will demand a certain strength it will demand a certain knowledge knowledge acquisition is strong in the month of october if you're a student you may want to sign up for a higher degree if you're not a student uh, you have you've been considering like should i should i not sign up for this course or or this uh, skill up skill development yes please do if you're somebody who typically never pays a lot of attention to how much have you grown and how much have you known in the spectrum of knowledge uh october will bring you opportunities and i strongly recommend you use those opportunities to upskill yourself it's almost like there's an opportunity coming your way which will demand you to know more than you do know right now okay uh people in romantic relationships your family uh could actually be very approving of the partner that you're in uh and if you're wanting to get like a yes from someone uh if you want to propose someone and you want to hear a yes from them this is a wonderful spread of cards that says please do go ahead and speak your heart out you will get the right answer those of you who are single you will get opportunities again to connect with more than one person and some of them will be very much aligned to your higher value system to your practical systems um to how you want to live your day to day life to how you are as a person and you may want to give these people a chance okay I repeatedly want to tell this pile you don't have to rush anything because you do have the energy of hermit here which does talk about slowing down listening to yourself spending time alone and then taking the next move
okay but clearly new love is on the way new opportunities are on the way creative opportunities are on the way i mean you can yourself see the cards that we have and i know you guys are not new to tarot and i know some of my tarot pals have literally come back and said hey i got this card and this card in another reading and now i got this one in your reading so if i add the combination oh my god i have people who are reading cards for themselves as well and kudos that's there's nothing wrong with that okay we talked about this and that's your first angel guidance i am always always in awe of how this works out attending workshops attending seminars knowledge acquisition we talked about this extensively please do go ahead and do that you may have some important meetings uh, if and you may need to upskill yourself before you show up at this we'll take one more card for you what do the angels want us to know for the month of october okay your underlying message is look at that we talked about twin flame romantic love i didn't want to say that word that casually with lovers but yeah write a letter to the higher self of your twin flame if you've been waiting for a union that is coming your way pile number 3s if that happens for you do let me know come back and leave me a comment here okay let's see what shows up here we have god box okay any kind of anxiety something to do with writing here repeatedly now showing up right so if you don't know what a god box is you basically make a box and every time you feel anxious thoughts you feel negative thoughts you put those thoughts in that box and you give it away to god okay you literally give it away to god so if you're worrying about something may go may not go right in the month of october release those anxieties because everything is okay for you i am repeatedly drawn to birds in your reading which always talks about information getting access to information it feels like this pile will get to know a lot about yourself about people around you about people in power which will give you more more opportunities okay i'm going to move towards how are you feeling throughout october wow i've put the cards so far that now i can't reach them hold on the other piles looked much cleaner for some reason this piles spread looks chaotic okay messy people in this pile high five if you are okay all right how am i feeling or how is pile 3 feeling or how are we feeling as tarot pals in october everybody who's picked pile number 3 who are how are the emotional playing out how are we emotionally feeling okay one card has literally flown away the underlying energy here is brave by the way uh but let me pause the video and try to get that card that just literally flew the farthest away it could okay so the card that flew really far away was acknowledgement with the number 2 and the other one is challenged interesting we'll play see how this plays out okay Hold on, I'm feeling very annoyed with the chaos now. So let me just clean this. Okay, so we have acknowledgement and challenged. I know, looks so much nicer, neater, right? Something. Okay, some of you may be actually developing that thing that you want it to be arranged in a certain way. Acknowledged and challenged. Also, talk to me about that. We have unaware and insight. Ooh, intuitive messages again coming in. Look at the amount of blues here. Uh, expressing yourself. Uh, swords are also thoughts. the number 8 and the number 2 we have forbidden and possibilities love this okay how are we feeling in the month of october through all of this through all these great things happening to us a part of you is very scared i don't know why pile number 3s it's as if like you don't want to believe something so good is happening to you uh, and i want you guys to literally claim this reading by saying i deserve the best of this world say that out loud thrice to yourself place your left hand on your throat chakra just under your throat and just above your chest like right at the chest okay uh and feel it while you say it out loud i deserve the best in this world i'll say it one more time i deserve the best in this world claim it comment it because great things are coming your way but if you're blocking it by your anxieties by asking am i an imposter do i deserve this did i get this am i going to be acknowledged are people going to receive this are, are, is it really possible for me then you're really creating unnecessary blockages and obstacles for yourself okay something to do with the moon or moon gazing i strongly suggest on the full moon on the 10th spend some time at the night gazing at the moon just looking at the moon and drawing power from it okay it's a powerful full moon in the zodiac sign of aries um you're being pushed to be brave believe in your possibilities okay pal threes uh, because it feels as if you may feel like 
great things are happening but is it really true is it too good to be true do i deserve this am i going to be accepted for this yes 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 you would uh, don't get into that mind space and everything is going to fly beautifully again like i said insight brings me back to that message which we talked about you will get information which will put you in a position of power so use that information wisely and don't overthink it too much okay all right how can we take care of ourselves throughout october pile number 3s i hope you've already left me that comment and claim that energy i don't want my tarot pals to ever question if they deserve something great happening to you okay you exist you loving you deserve great things okay i have too many self care cards hold on wait uh we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 i'll feel like i want to go with we'll take three so we'll take these two three okay let's see health check up if you've been ignoring that if you know that there are doc pending doctors appointments please go for it please go for it okay abundance planning we talked about this ask yourself how would you spend the money if you got the all this money we clearly have a lot of money coming your way instead of questioning how will it happen is it possible is it not literally give universe a checklist of things that you would buy you would do you would give away you can give it back to the community what would you do wow sweet treat i think this pile will get a lot of reasons to celebrate again that message comes back but if you've been holding yourself back from eating the things you like being the things that you you know giving yourself that indulgence please go ahead with it see i like how it balanced it is you have the health checkup and you have the sweet treat okay i loved doing this i'm super excited for october for you guys especially you guys for sure i hope you've loved this as well claim this reading become a tarot pile by hitting that subscribe button and i will see you in your next readings take care bye bye